What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. There are some uh, visa extension changes coming to the country. Uh, as far as we know right now, it should start on the 17th. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know all about these changes and this is going to affect you if you're coming here for work purposes. If you're coming here to retire, uh, this is not going to affect you. The ER retirement visa extension is still the same as it always was. Probably one of the easiest ones to get in uh, Southeast Asia at least. But this is going to affect you if you're coming here to work. Uh, and I'll get into all that in just a minute. But first I want to let you know that my book of short horror stories called The Things That Happen at Night is available at a link in the description for only $3.00. I also have a book called uh, Living Cambodia, A Guide for Living in the Kingdom of Wonder. Uh, and that book is only $5 at the link in the description. Um, I also have some free short horror stories for you guys. Free. There's a link down below on Wattpad. Uh, you can read them all there. That's my profile page. All three of my stories are on that page. You can read them all for free. Uh, so go ahead and click those and... Let me know what you think, and I'll be adding more in the future as well. Also, if you feel like supporting the channel, you want to help what we do here, it's always appreciated. And not only will you receive uh, exclusive weekly content that I only send to my supporters, but if you donate, I'll also send you copies of my books and uh, any future books, any future uh, exclusive stuff. You will receive right to your inbox. No muss, no fuss, no extra links or anything like that. So I got links down below for PayPal, ko-fi.com. Join my Patreon. You do those things, you get access. It's just that easy. Uh, and I hope you consider it. All right. Now, the visa extension changes. These are supposed to take place starting the 17th of this month. And this has been reported by several travel agencies. Uh, and generally here in Cambodia, they will, travel agencies will get the word from the government about changes before anybody else. And sometimes they start implementing those changes early so that when the official announcement comes, uh, their customers are already up to speed. So even though this has not been a, officially announced by the Cambodian government. We can expect that very shortly, at least at the time I'm recording this. Who knows? I haven't checked my news today. It might be out there. I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, these are the changes that are going to take place if you're coming here to work. I have a paper here, so I didn't mess anything up. So, <laughs> okay. If you're coming in on an e-visa, that's, that's the long-term stay visa, and you wish to get a 12-month EB extension, and that's the one you need for working, if you want the one-year extension, before you get that extension, you are going to now need a work permit, a letter of employment, and a tax license which you can get from your employer, whoever that might be. If you're coming here to teach, the school uh, will give you that a copy of that of their tax license. You'll need all three of those to get the 12-month extension after your initial e-visa is finished in 30 days. Um, if you do not have a work permit, you'll only be allowed to get a six-month EB extension, but you'll still need a letter of employment and the tax license. If you do not have an employment letter, then they have something here. You can only apply for a three-month uh, EP uh, proposal extension, something I never heard of. I didn't, didn't even know that was a thing. But there's something called an EP extension, which is good for three months. That's if you want to work, haven't found a job, don't have a, a, 
a work permit or a letter or anything. And uh, you can apply for that one, but it's only good for three months. But you can convert that to an EB uh, after you get your work permit, letter of employment, and a copy of the tax license from uh, your employer. Uh, they have an extension here. I've talked about it before called the EG. It's kind of a, a general visa, looking for work visa. Uh, previously, it was good for up to six months, one time only. And that kind of gave you a window to go look for a job before you converted that to an EB after you found one, after you found a job. But that has changed, and now you're only going to be able to get that EG for one month or three months. So there will be no more six-month uh, EG. So basically what that means is if you come into the country on an E-visa, and let's say you want to teach, at the end of that 30 days of your original E-visa, you're, you're going to need an extension of some kind. And if you want to work, you'll need the EB extension. Uh, but to do that, that means you're going to have to come in and within that month, within that first month, you're going to have to get a, if you want the one-year EB extension, you're going to have to have a work permit. You're going to have to have a letter of employment, uh, which means you're going to have to quickly find a job or kind of have a job uh, guaranteed to you before you come here. And uh, they'll get, like I said, the company, whatever, and your employer will give you a copy of the ta their tax license uh, so you can get that done. If you don't have a work permit, you can get a six-month extension, but you'll still need a letter of employment and the tax license. And if you don't have an employment letter, then after that 30 days of your e-visa, you're going to have to apply for a three-month EP extension, the proposal extension, which will mean that gives you that extra three months to find the job, get your letter of employment, get your work permit, and get a copy of the tax license from your employer for that. So, so it's not like you're going to come in here, look for a job, and after 30 days, if you don't have one, you're going to have to leave or, or something drastic. You'll be able to get the EP You'll be able to have another three-month window there, and uh, that should give you enough time to, to find your job and get all your uh, stuff together. Uh, a work permit is uh, uh, very easy to apply for. You know, you will have to go get a, a basic, a very basic physical at a health clinic and get a letter of clearance from them. Nothing invasive, nothing intrusive, just a very general deal, probably for about 20 bucks. Uh, and you'll have to have a school or whatever business you're working for give you your letter of employment and a copy of their tax license. Now, some of these things are actually, uh, they've been in the rules for a long time, but they've never been enforced. <laughs> you know, people usually come in here, get their e-visa, then... After 30 days, if they're whether they have a job or work permit or anything, uh, they'll get an, an EB extension, which has been allowed for years and years and years. And then they have a year to find a job, get their work permit, get their uh, letter of employment and all that. Uh, but now they're just uh, uh, going to enforce it more, I guess you can say. They're, they... Uh, yeah, it's just never been enforced, but it is definitely uh, something they are going to start enforcing now. Let me put it that way. All right, I don't know what happened there. It seemed like my video froze and all you were getting was that one scene. It didn't continue. So I'll just finish this video uh, from right here. But anyway, that's the scoop. That's the lowdown. That's what's happening in the visa world. Like I said, this was supposed to take place starting the 17th. There's been no official announcement yet from the Cambodian government, although one is expected here uh, very soon. And if there are any changes or twists to the information I just gave you, of course, I'll let you know right here. 
All right, be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, I have PayPal. I have Ko-Fi.com. You donate through there, and I'll send you copies of my books, exclusive videos, and all that good stuff. And you can buy my books individually at the links below. Also down below are links to other channels vlogging from this part of the world. They're very good channels, channels you should watch. And I got a whole list of them down there for you. Uh, feel free to dive right in. I'm sure they appreciate it also. Uh, my other channel, Horror Reads. I, re I review and discuss a different horror book every two or three days on that channel. So if that's your thing, if that's your bag, if that's the kind of thing you're into, uh, be sure to check that out as well. All right. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. If you got some uh, information out of here, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next one.